question of this paper that is 10. Recall that arc sine t also known as sine inverse t is a function with domain minus 1 comma 1 years. This we used to write like this sine inverse colon minus 1 comma 1 both side close bracket and range is minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. That is one standard uh, function that we uh, study in uh, inverse trigonometric function inverse trigonometric function. Now consider the function fx is equal to arc sine sin x okay so here this function fx is sine inverse sin x okay now answer the following questions as a series of four letters t are true f of four false why they are saying four letters maybe it's a typing error or we have missed one part here because there are only three parts okay Anyways, so sine inverse sine x we are given and we are all, I think this is one very standard thing. We do this thing in our class that for x in this <coughs> principal domain, this graph is like x only. From pi by 2 between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2, it's a linear graph. And after this, it goes like this, zigzag, like this. This is the graph of sine inverse sine x. Pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2, it will be going like going down like this. And then 3 pi by 2 to 5 pi by 2, it will be going like going up like this, then again going down. And similarly, minus pi by 2, minus 3 pi by 2, it will be going like this, and so on and so on. Now, I think this question has become super easy. A part function has is well defined for all real numbers for sure, isn't it? We can put any value of x in this sign. Remember, I always tell this thing in our class that sin x is the same old function that we used to teach you in 11th grade. We teach you sine inverse in 2nd, 12th grade where we tell you that to make it bijective, to make it invertible, we have defined principal domain of sin as minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. That doesn't mean that domain of sin x has changed. It is still all real number and for whatever value of sin x we will obtain sin inverse x will get value between minus 1 to 1 so it has to work so this function fx has to be defined for all real numbers x so this first statement is true the b function fx is continuous whenever it is defined definitely true you can see this graph goes like this zigzag zigzag so at every point it will be continuous but these points where it takes sudden turn, you can find this will become non-differentiable. So function fx is differentiable whenever it is continuous, this statement seems to be false. So it will be ttf. Okay, so this is how this will be done. Uh, dear all, to do this question in least time, I think you should know this graph. Otherwise, this question may become little difficult. You will have to check for pi by 2 plus pi by 2 minus and you can prove that it will be continuous but it will not be differentiable okay so this question also i will say moderate not difficult so this is all about the solution of this part a i am ending my session at this point of time next week i'll meet all of you with the part b solutions okay so thank you so much take care everybody bye